I've kicked Kent out of the van. Just kidding, he is currently at the movies. I have two hours of what is probably the only alone time I am going to have in like five months and I wanna spend it with you. Okay, that's all of the jokes I planned ahead of time, so now we just have to go with whatever comes out of my brain. I have been feeling pretty just overwhelmed by stuff lately, like our van is really messy right now, we've just been going, going, going nonstop, and I always find that when I have a lot of overwhelm in my life, it trickles into my projects, and my projects suffer in a way. I'm just feeling like I have so much going on, and I just need to take about an hour or so and organize my projects. I know it doesn't really matter that much if you make a ton of progress on your projects, but I know for me personally that every month or two months or so, I just have to have this session with myself where I just kind of go through things, sort things out, make really fast, quick decisions, and kind of get my brain right for what's important for me to work on. First, I need to do a little cleaning up in here because Toaster is currently napping on my dirty clothes. It's a lot cleaner now. I feel like it's one of those things where you need like a clean workspace to be creative and make decisions. And if it wasn't nine o'clock at night, I'd also be putting this bed up. Maybe if I have a little more time tonight, I'm gonna do some other tidying here in the van, but number one priority is the yarn. So if you wanna get organized with me today or just watch for inspiration, let's get to it. Currently, all of my projects or whips, things I'm actually mostly working on, not that, are up here in this shelf. And this is working out really well. My goal before I left my parents' house in January was to have this be the only space that I kept yarn. The problem is pretty much everything down here is yarn as well. The problem here, and I use problem very loosely because this is a problem that I wanted to have so long ago. <laughs> And it's not really a problem. It's that I'm bringing in more yarn than I could possibly use. Maybe you can relate to that. It's pretty easy to do because there's so many amazing, beautiful colors out there and there's just only so much time in the day. I'm just gonna start throwing all of this on the bed. Um, so this yarn here has been in bags and when we put up the bed during the day, it kind of like sits on the floor, which is very in the way or like, on the seats or then it will fall off. And it's just like, I just, I want to have everything neat and put away. That's the thing. Like if it was there for a couple of days, fine. But I mean, this has been weeks <laughs> that it's been like this. And some of it has a purpose. I mean, all of it has a purpose. Some of it has a clear purpose. Some of it I need to make decisions on. I need to send some home to um, my parents' house so that I can use it later. I need to send some out as giveaways to my membership. Um, I need to use some of it. Uh, so yeah, there's gonna be a variety of things here. I'm about to have to crawl under this bed. A lot of this too, I just need to use in my blanket and I have not knit on, or no, sorry, crocheted on my blanket in so long because I'm feeling like decision overwhelmed from deciding what to start with. And so I'm like, that's silly. I just need to do that tonight. I can get it all lined up. I can get it all figured out. And then that way when I'm like, ooh, I wanna crochet on my blanket. I know exactly what to work on next. This is all of the yarn. I believe, hi buddy. Oh, you look upset. What's wrong? I don't think I finished my thought from earlier and that was that I know that I am so lucky to have this problem, to have way too much yarn that I could ever use and so much beautiful hand dyed, amazing yarn. And some of it is yarn, actually most of it is yarn that I purchased myself some of it is things that were gifted to me, whether it was just a gift or something that I'm using as a promotion. I'm collaborating with somebody or I'm sharing their box and I'm an affiliate with them, but it's just more than I could possibly use. And while 
I used to have a tendency to just hold on to everything and then it would make me feel guilty when I wasn't using it. Now I'm getting better. I'm exercising the muscle of being able to make decisions on things that I just know I'm probably not going to use. And instead of sitting in my stash, not getting loved, it's way better to go to somebody else. So while both of these will be used for my membership, I'm sure we can find a giveaway to give in this video too. The plan is that I need to sort this yarn into a couple, well, a few different categories. One is going to be yarn for my blanket. I'm just gonna put all that to the side and we're gonna later on decide the order. You're gonna do it with me. <laughs> we're gonna figure out the order for this blanket. I'm gonna take pictures, it'll be great. Um, second is things that I am going to use later or maybe I have leftovers of and they need to go home to Tennessee. Um, that's not just yarn. I have some other random things I've been putting in a bag with yarn that just need to go home. I have one thing that I'm just thinking about and I will talk through it in a bit. So that's two categories. The third is things that I need to give away um, that I need to pick prizes for. I need to make a list of them and just again, make it easier on myself because I've been putting this off for weeks and weeks, letting this build up instead of just making these decisions. And uh, yeah, I just had a lot going on, I think. Um, and then the final thing is, uh, maybe a few things that I need to hang on to because they are for promotional pieces, um, just materials or yarns that I need in order to share about an event or share about something. I think most of what I have now I've already shared and I don't need to hang on to the physical piece anymore so I can either send it home or give it away, but we'll see as we get into things. Thought we'd change the angle up a little bit as we start to get into the yarn. Kent is going to hate this because he hates what I film in the van because he doesn't like the light. It's just like, shadowy and not super great. By the way, how have you been liking the podcast being outdoors? I think it's been really fun for us, um, but I hope it's been fun for you too to just see different sights and then, I don't know, it's just something a little bit different that I can do, have the opportunity to do right now. Okay, where shall we start? How about something I already know? <laughs> I started this Ziploc baggie of yarn that I am going to, that I have put into my blanket, my crochet blanket, that I am maybe potentially going to put into a blanket in the future. I wanna do a map of the United States and use a yarn from each state in order to, you know, knit that state in intarsia. And so I've used one of these already. And then this one, I used a mini skein of the same color. It's from Paper Crane Yarns and it's gonna be my Alabama one. So I thought, hey, I'll just have a Ziploc baggie. And whenever I'm finished with my blanket, I will just put that in there. And then when this gets full, I'll send it home, which is a great idea. I just haven't gone any further than this. So that's already decided on and I can put more blanket stuff in there as I finish it. There's so much, I, I'm like still overwhelmed to do this. Let's just see. I may not tell you exactly what I'm gonna do with all of these things, um, but I, I'm gonna make the decision tonight, but it's a good fun way to see more yarn, right? I have this beautiful yarn from Woolen Women Fibers that was their March box and their April box is already on sale now, but I am pretty sure I am not going to get to work with this. So I think it needs to go um, to somebody else. It has such cute little things. Their box is so cute. And I have all the fun goodies with it. Things that I can't use right now, like a candle and all of that. It's just not practical when your home is on wheels. So I think we should give this away. I'm gonna put that in my giveaway pile. Even though I love it, I just can't hang on to everything. Okay, this is a yarn that Kent I think has already given away. So I'm making a fourth pile. Kent's giveaways. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else is in here? Oh, here's a yarn that I've already used from Ruby and Roses. Um, it is part of her Taylor Swift collection. I think I'm just gonna send all these home so that I can probably use them later on because I love them and they're so beautiful. What else is in here? Um, let's see, oh, I think, okay, I think I found the bag of things that I'm sending home. Actually, I think that's what this bag is from Yarn Centric by the way, which I did use for um, promotional stuff. So I've got a skein of yarn. Did I use this in my blanket? I think I must have. Oh yes, I did, I did. Where did that just go? Whenever I finish up a skein of yarn for my blanket, I try to take the label, put the yarn through like so, boom, and then wrap around it like that. And then it can go in here. So 
when we are done traveling, I feel like I'm going to have to do some type of video where I like unpackage everything that I've sent home. Because even when we just went home and visited my parents a couple of weeks, months ago, I had, I was looking for some yarn that I needed and I had to open up so many small nine by or 10 by 13 pink packages to find it. So I think that'll be kind of interesting. It'll be like an unboxing of my own things. <laughs> I also have a beautiful skein of Spin Cycle from Black Mountain, which is their, uh, what are they, they don't call it a signature color, but it's like their special colorway. It's called First Light and I have no current plans to use it. So it's going to go home to my parents because I will use it eventually. Uh, super random, but I got new glasses. They're not that different from my old glasses. So I'm sending my own old glasses home. So I have a backup pair just in case. And also my Rhinebeck doodle deck because I am done with it for now. And actually I feel like my Rhinebeck doodle is in one of these bags because I'm also sending that home. You don't need to see all the yarn. Oh, I love this so much. I'm actually thinking about hanging on to this. This is from Ruby and Roses. This was her Taylor Swift look. It's coming apart. <laughs> uh, love story. I'm thinking about using it for a summer top. I don't know. I don't know if I can pull off yellow, but I really, really like it. It's so pretty. Okay, I might need a, a pile of, I need to decide again later. Okay, ooh, you can't see that. I need to hold on to that. That's a promotional thing. <gasps> Secret. Okay, my Rhinebeck doodle cow that I finished that I love so much. This is from Jamie Lomax. I, I love it, but I know I'm not going to wear it right now. I already have one infinity scarf here in the car. And then I have one that I am knitting on. And when I'm finished knitting my new one, it's going to replace the one that I already have. I am trying to be very minimal. We obviously don't have a lot of space and I know myself and I know what I'm going to use. So this is like a special occasion cowl. It will be for yarn shows and things. So I'm sending that home as well. All right. What was the last thing? I think I had this. Oh, no, wait. I had this awesome bag from Barley Pearls that was gifted to me. And it says Arkansas on it. And I love it so much. But again, I can only have so many project bags here. So that's going home. I think I might also be sending my float to it home, but I need to put that in the maybe pile. Okay. So I'm going to make what is that? Oh, some stitch markers. I am going to make this bag stuff to send home and I can just package this up tomorrow. It needs to be easy. Is this enjoyable? I hope so. Okay. What else do we have in here? Oh, from Pretty Twisted Yarns. Isn't this so fun? She does a monthly um, dye club and this was February's. It's called Life is Like a Box of Chocolate. And I am an affiliate for her club, so I get them every single month. And I really like this one. So I don't know if I'm going to give it away yet. It's going to be, it's going to be a debatable one. Okay. Labels. This is all extra stuff. This part is boring. You don't need to see this part. You don't need to see all of this. These things that I need to sort. So maybe we'll just speed it up. One bag, totally empty. I got this bag in Oklahoma from a chick that knits when uh, that was one of the most fun nights of our trip because it was super spontaneous. We were in, oh, what city is it in Oklahoma? Um, a chick that knits used to have a storefront. We tried to go to the storefront to find out that it was permanently closed. Um, I reached out to her on Instagram. She told me that there was another yarn store 15 minutes away. I went to that yarn store and then invited, then she invited me to her home to see her dye studio and gifted me a bunch of mini skeins. And it was absolutely fantastic. So that was good memories. Okay. You know what? The pile is much smaller now. It's not looking that bad. I bought these two skeins of alpaca. Is it alpaca? Yeah, I think it is of undyed alpaca from, um, a yarn store in Arkansas and it is so pretty from Unraveled and I know I'm using that as a giveaway so that's easy to put over there. Okay what's in this bag? <laughs> this looks like yarn for my blanket. Oh my gosh see when I don't use stuff I don't put yarn cozies on it things get like so tangled and such a mess. 
Oh my gosh. This is why I've been like dreading this because not only at first I had only my New Orleans yarns in here. That's where I'm at on my blanket. I am in New Orleans. I am in Louisiana. So I had just my New Orleans yarns in here. And then I started adding Arkansas yarns. And then I started adding other stuff to it. So I just don't even know. Like this one's from Oklahoma. I just don't even know what is in here. Oh, I have some goodies. I forgot about that. Some goodies at the bottom. So I think I might have to use this as a blanket bag. So that's the blanket bag. I think that's all, mostly all that was in here, except I found another Kent giveaway, King Cake. He might have already given that away. I might be able to just ship that off very easily. Okay, another one sorted. We only have a few things. Oh my goodness, I forgot about this. A few things left. Ah! And then we're gonna get to projects, I promise. Okay, this bag, isn't it pretty? Uh, you might recognize it if you saw our Marty or Yarny Gras video. Um, I also have yarn for the blanket in here. So here it goes. We're moving it over. I am sending this project bag home. I love this project bag so much, but I want to use it during Mardi Gras season. That has already passed this year. I'd already planned to send it home. I was like, yeah, I will send it home. As soon as I'm done, I'm gonna finish up those yarns real quick. And it's been, actually, you know what? How long has it been? Where's my phone? That just took me way too long to realize it was behind me this whole time. So how long ago, were we actually in New Orleans? Because it feels like forever ago, but maybe it wasn't that long ago. Let me see. <laughs> it was in January for sure, and we're already almost to the end of February. Hold on. We were in New Orleans January 27th, which means it's been one, two, three, almost four weeks exactly. Okay, it's longer than I thought. Yeah, it's been a while. I should have had those things done. But anyway, I'm gonna send this home and I can't wait to use it during Mardi Gras season. I have so many fun holiday bags. I have Christmas ones and Halloween ones, and now I have one for Mardi Gras. So that's going in the send home bag. Cause again, I just can't keep that many project bags here. And the ones I do have here are like much more neutral in theme. Okay, this one's an easy one. This is from Pretty Twisted Yarns. It's a doodle kit and it is a membership giveaway. So I need to put that over there. I need to select somebody. All right, what's in here? Oh, that's right. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's not much in this bag anymore. It was what my um, project bag from Barley Pearls came in, but now that it is empty, I can dispose of that properly. I have a skein of Nitty Natty on Sparkle that I might hang on to or I might use as a membership giveaway because I do have my own skein. And then I have a beautiful ornament that somebody gifted to me in Arkansas that I'm going to send home, but I wanna make sure it gets um, packaged safely. So that's going in the send home one. Last two things, oh my goodness. Okay, I got this subscription box from Arkansas Yarn Co. It is their Sock Yarn Society. And sorry, it looks like a total mess now because I held on to it and kept it really nice and used it to share on my Instagram. And then now it looks like that because it's been tossed around so much. So this is probably going to be kept all nice together in this package and use as a giveaway <laughs> as well. Because as much as I love the color, I just, I just can't keep everything. You know what I mean? Okay, last thing, this one is from Hot Springs Yarn Company. This is another really fun kit that I'm, and I'm tempted to use, but I'm also tempted to share because it comes together so nicely. It's a King Crab Cake sock set with a recipe, a King Blue Crab Cake, sorry, and a beautiful sock set. I mean, this base is yummy. It's so good. So I'm tempted to give that away as well. But I might use this box to send my ornament home. These are the decisions I'm gonna make after this video, of course. Okay, that's gonna be a decide later. Okay, we're all sorted out. Now what I need to do is not let this stay like this for another 
three weeks. I need to get some things packaged and ready to go, but we're gonna stick around together for the project planning part. Up here is where I keep all the mailing stuff in our, in my coffee cabinet, basically. So to get it out, I have to take out the lid to our pan <laughs> and this, but I want to, oh, and uh, cutting board. I'm just gonna put those back up here for a minute. I want to go ahead and get everything that I'm sending home to my mom in a mailer so that I don't have an excuse. Like I don't have this bag just sitting around somewhere, me going, what am I doing with that? What am I gonna do with that next? So that's what I'm gonna do right this very second. It's closed up. I have no excuses anymore. I just need to do all the mailing, which I'm not gonna do until I have one more package <laughs> at least to mail. But what I can do now is I have lots of Ziploc bags. Actually, I used most of these for Advent this year that I just keep reusing for yarn. And I can start a new one for all of the things that I'm going to finish. All of the hexes that I'm going to finish, you hear me? I'm going to get some done this week and I'm gonna fill up another one of these bags and I'm gonna send it home. Now that I have a sense for all of the things that were like out and kind of feeling very overwhelming, I'm ready to get to my projects, which is what I really wanted to do and really wanna tackle here. And I feel like when there's other things, like I, I don't wanna call it clutter because yarn is so amazing and clutter isn't always like made up of bad things, right? But it was cluttering my space and my brain and it was preventing me from wanting to work on my projects. So now that that is like sorted and I can just tick things off of the list, I'm ready to get into things. So actually I have a project right here. This is the one I've been working on the most this week. So that's there. I'm gonna pull other things here from my cabinet. I have a pair of socks that I am working on. I have, this is the blanket. So we're just gonna put these things together and we're gonna work on those in a sec. I have a hat that I need to block that's finished. I have, oh, okay. These are like my shame projects. We'll talk about those in a second. <laughs> that actually goes with the blanket. That goes there. I have my reading thing that I love. And then the rest is actually, I have a basket for leftover yarns and some blocking materials and my Notion. So all this can actually stay up here. I don't need to sort through this stuff, so I'm just gonna leave it in here. And everything else has to fit in this space. I'm now surrounded by yarn, which is definitely a dream. <laughs> but first, let me show you my current whips and ones that you're gonna see on the podcast this week. Traveler's Loop by Don Barker. Vanilla is the New Black Socks by Anna Fletcher. Another pair of Vanilla is the New Black Socks actually goes in here, but it is currently in my chalk bag. I cannot find my other project. I think it's in the front. Anyhow, that is one scarf and three pairs of socks that I am currently working on, in addition to the blanket that I haven't touched in a while. Um, so that's lots and lots of projects. So here's my, this is what I said is my shame projects because they're things that I wanna be working on, but whether it's just time or like interest by the time I get to that thing, it's just not happening right now. And I probably need to let some of these go. This is not one of them. This is actually my muscle burrow that I recently finished. And it's been finished for about a week now, but because we have been constantly on the move and also really reserving water, we haven't stayed at a campsite where we could fill water in about two weeks. And that means we've been living off of about 27 gallons of water, um, which we are, only using to like wash dishes and flush the toilet, things like that. And we're using bottled water to drink. So we're being really, really resourceful and precious with our water and trying to use very, very little of it. Even the bottled water, we try to always like take these into restaurants and things with us and uh, what are they called? National historic sites or gyms when we can refill our water, we're wanting to use as little as we can. So basically I haven't been able to block this, but I really, really want to. So it's just kind of sitting there with my whips being ready to block. Okay, so here's my projects that I'm like, <sighs> this one. I really, 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 really 
wanted to start this project. This is the Suburban Stitcher pink advent calendar from 2023, so just this past year. And then I bought some Surrey to go with it and I want to make the Guardi Cardi. I can't remember the designer right now, but I will put it down below. And I had it, I got it, you know, look at me, I got it all wound up and ready to start. And then we kicked off our travels in January and it, there just hasn't felt like a good time to sit down and do the work. I'm making some changes to the pattern. I need to swatch all of that. And it just feels like a sweater is not quite in my grasp right now. Could this change in a couple of weeks? Possibly, but I kind of already have an idea of the current projects that I wanna work on and what I wanna work on next. So I'm actually debating sending this home um, because it is huge. It's taking up a lot of space in my project's cubby. And it would be really nice to have that space to be like a flex space to store more yarn or right now, all the yarn for the blanket that I need to do. So I think that it's probably the right decision for me at this moment to send it home. The good thing is, do I have it labeled? I do, I have it labeled, it says Suburban Stitcher on it, plus it's all pink. So it would be very easy for me to let my mom know, hey, I'm ready to work on that project now. Can you send it out to me? So uh, that's probably what I need to do. It makes me sad. I, um, if you, what was I talking about it in, in some video, I was also doing some project planning because you know that that's happening to me all the time. I'm always constantly, you know, having to do a reset, um, but I was not gonna bring it with me. And then I made a last minute decision and was able to fit it in there and it was great, but I should have known better. I should have left myself some blank space. The other project that I really wanna work on and I just haven't started it yet, although I am tempted to hang on to it because, okay, let me explain. It is a crocheted assigned pooling. Isn't this so pretty? This is just a swatch, just a practice that we did in the class with uh, Trisha Kopko. Um, but I want to start a wrap from her. And I bought this yarn from Bar Blah, Barger Wool, who is the assigned pooling creator. And then Trisha Kopko is one of the crochet designers that does it. And I got it all wound up and ready to go again in January when I was kind of last doing some project planning. It's in such a fun project bag. And then I just haven't started it. February, we are working on assigned pooling in my membership. And it's February like 23rd today. And I still haven't started it. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing that in February. I've Clearly with the socks and the hat and the garter stitch uh, infinity scarf, I think that's just what's better for me right now is just really, really simple things. Not that this is difficult, but it just I, I just haven't been in the right mindset to like start something complex. And that's just how it's going. What is my camera doing right now? It's making these like crazy squares. Hi. <laughs> anyway, this might be either a hold on to because we are doing a crochet make along for the month of March and I could redeem myself. I hate saying that. I feel like, I do feel like I failed a little bit um, with my knitting and crochet. And I think that's okay to admit because I'm sure we've all been there, um, but it's really not a big deal. <laughs> it's just yarn. It's just knitting and crochet. And just the fact that I get to do at least 30 minutes to up to two hours of knitting and crochet every day is so amazing and such a blessing and I don't take it for granted. But right now I think the stage of life that I'm in or just this moment just is preventing me from really doing things that take some brain space. So I don't know, I might send this home or I might hang on to it for just a little bit longer. I'm gonna put it back there. Now that I've gone through my projects, except for the blanket, we're still getting there, um, I am seeing that it probably doesn't make sense for me to hold on to all of this yarn in the current moment to make something. So I think I will send all of this home as well. I am gonna have a very fun time in, I don't know, December, uh, probably not December, cause Vlogmas. <laughs> I don't know, maybe in January of next year, maybe a year from now, this will be very interesting. Maybe a year from now, you will see me doing another year of knitting my stash um, because I have acquired, again, too much beautiful yarn to possibly use myself. I've been giving a ton of it away, but I've also been keeping a ton of it and it will be really fun and maybe an interesting challenge in 2025 uh, to see what I can come up with. Okay, I think it's time for our final thing. 
let's get this blanket organized. I'm going to, I'm going to pause here and I'm going to package up some more stuff. You don't need to see that to send home to my mom. That way it's just like decisions made. It's closed up. It's wrapped up. I don't have to look at it. I love you so much, but I have to, have to do it. Um, but yeah, we're going to work on the blanket next. And after that, I think I'm going to feel so good about this. And now it's the moment you've been waiting for. Okay, maybe just me, but I'm ready to do my blanket. Toaster is bored to sleep. So I have been to, I think, four states. I've been to Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas. Oh, no, that's not right. I've also been to New Mexico, Arizona, and now I'm in California. So is that six? I have yarn here from probably that many states that I need to first get grouped by state because I am very set on adding these to my blanket in order. And then within each state, I have multiple yarns. So I need to decide on the order of that. The other issue is that I'm starting to forget where some of these came from. Most of them have labels with them, but some of them are loose. And luckily I have most of them in a photo in my camera roll or else I would be in real trouble here. In order, we have Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona. I actually have no clue where the skein I got today went. Found it and California. I've just counted and I've got 26 hexes to add into my blanket. I feel super behind, but I'm reminding myself that in October of last year, I think I had more than this to add in. And I spent about a week at my friend Amy's house in New Jersey. And during that time, I got everything added in because these only take about 30 minutes. So I'm not going to hurt myself by doing a bunch of them at once. I'm not going to ruin the fun of the project by doing that, but hopefully I can add in one to two per day and eventually I will get myself kind of caught back up. Um, we are going to Portland, Oregon for a yarn crawl in about two weeks. So if I could get done by then, <laughs> that would be really great. That would look like doing two or more per day, uh, but I think it's a possibility and again, that would be really awesome to make that happen. Now I've just taken a photo of each of these clusters like per state, but I um, am remembering now that I do like to sort of pick the order of them. Of course I have, you know, like 10 colors for New Orleans, but I also like to pick, pick them based on the blanket. So right now, all I need to pick is New Orleans or Louisiana rather. I don't need to worry about these other ones right now. So I'm going to put my Louisiana ones. Actually, that's not true. I think I'm going to put my Louisiana ones in my actual project bag. So I have the blanket and the yarns ready. And I think I'm going to put everything else into here in reverse order. So California going in first, I'm going to try to keep them kind of nice and stacked. I've got Arizona next. It's fun because Every state kind of looks like either the mood I was in or the state itself. Like, look at Arizona. It's so Arizona. One of these colors is called Acatillo, which is a beautiful um, kind of type of cactus and not cactus, sorry, type of plant that they have there. Oh, it's really dark. I'm sorry. You'll see all of these, I promise, when they uh, come out. Um, and then, of course, my Louisiana one is very like New Orleans and bright colors and it's just so so fun. This New Mexico one I tried to start on because I was in white sands and it's a white sands colorway and then yeah that did not end up happening. Okay we've got Texas in here. I'm just gonna get all this in here and then my Arkansas is very very pink. I'm also gonna add my nitty natty colorway in there when I get to it. Okay so that's everything that is actually not from Yarny Girl. <laughs> All of this is, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 colors. I thought I'd flip back around into better light so you can actually see the colors and see where I'm at on my blanket. So since I haven't shown this in the podcast in a while, <laughs> there might be some of you here who haven't seen this blanket yet because I haven't been working on it. Um, this is the crochet, oh no, it's not. Oh my gosh. See, I've already forgotten what it's called. It's a summer hexi blanket, summer fade hexi blanket by Mallory Crawl. And I am not doing a fade, I'm doing yarns from all over the country and adding them in in the order that I get them. And it's been so much fun. So let's see, where did I leave off? I know I left a marker, here we go. I left a marker at the beginning of this round, we'll call it, because I'm making hexagon, hexagonal rings around the blanket. I'm doing at least one more ring and then we'll see if I want to start squaring it off or not. But keep in mind that we have only been or filmed in like 20 states so far. There's still 30 more to go. And the blanket looks like this. That's pretty big. Not big, big. Like it's not a blanket yet, but I might need to go away from the hex hexagon shape and start going in a different direction. But not yet, not yet. So let me see where... I ended, here we go. So here's the last hexi I did. I did two from New Orleans. And so my next one will go in right here. So I'm gonna lay the blanket out and then I'm gonna take these 10 yarns and I'm gonna put them in an order that I think looks good. I'm not really trying to make things too perfect here. I think making it random is actually probably what makes it look the best, but I do try to keep light colors away from each other. So for example, I might not put another pink right next to this pink, if I can avoid it. If it's the only one I have from that state, then that's fine. Um, but other than that, I try to make it look a little bit random. So let me spread this guy out. We'll get those yarns laid out. I'll take a picture and then decision making done. This is really just a draft. I may change my mind as I start getting into the crocheting and swap some things around. I honestly can't even tell you just how good it feels to get this stuff sorted out and to have this decision made. And that way when we're on the road and we're driving, I'm not like, oh man, in order to start this project, I've got to go back in the back and I've got to make all these decisions and I got to sort all this yarn out. It's just, it's sorted. So I'm adding all of those yarns that I've made, you know, placement decisions on. I already took a picture. I'm putting them into the bottom of this project bag, all except for the next one. And then I have my little pouch here. Actually, this one I'll just throw, since it's a mini skein, I'll just throw it in my pouch. It has my crochet hook, the um, needle I need to weave in the ends, and scissors. So I just have everything I need. And then, excuse me, toaster. I need this blanket. <laughs> he always loves my blankets that I'm working on. I'm gonna stuff this. Well, actually, let's see if it'll go actually into the top. Um, then this is just ready to be pulled out and worked on. I think, I think that we are approaching a stage where I'm not gonna be able to keep this project in a project bag anymore. I mean, half of it's yarn right now, but at least for now, it's all contained together. Once I'm done with this yarn, we'll move into this one. <laughs> this is crazy right now. It's a lot, but check back in with me in a couple weeks. I think I will have this finished up and then we'll have a whole bunch of yarns from Oregon to add in. The next question is, will it fit? Let's see, pull the small things out. <laughs> it's gotta go long ways. Will this yarn fit too? That would be pretty amazing, actually. Uh, I'll leave that one out because I'm actually working on that. Let's see, it might be happening. It might be happening. Oh my goodness, yes! All right, that's it, I'm done. We're organized, that's the end of the video. <laughs> we got so much done today, I'm so, so pleased. Having all of that blanket yarn up in that cabinet now and not on the floor is incredible. I also have 
three bags of things that are gonna go off to my parents' house. I'm gonna get those labeled next and send those off tomorrow. And then I have a whole nother bag of things that is going to be given away as prizes eventually. But right now, this is all that's gonna be sitting out. That's not bad. That's so much better than before. Kent's gonna be so happy. He has, he's been really kind about it. Like he only complained a little bit during Advent season. Do you remember that giant bag I had of my 10 yarn Advents, which was too much, I'll admit. Um, he did not complain very much and that was so in our way. And I told him when we started out again in January, I'm like, my goal is to not have stuff out on the floor and I have had stuff out on the floor for a month now. And so he's gonna be so, I'm so happy with it. He's gonna be so happy with it. And uh, maybe a little proud of me, we'll see. Um, but I thought we would end with a giveaway because you have stuck around for a lot of chit chat and a lot of thinking and uh, you deserve something. So I am gonna be giving away this beautiful set from Wool and Women Fibers. Um, I am crushed that I didn't work on it this month, but I just know that I'm not going to get to it anytime soon and it would be better to be in one of your hands. So I'll just show it real quickly again. Um, this is from their uh, boxes that they do every single month and April's is now open for pre-order. I will have that one to show in a future podcast, hopefully this next week's maybe we'll see. I'm a little hard to reach right now with mail <laughs> and everything. Luckily I can send stuff home, thank goodness. Um, but this one was from March and the theme was we're off to see the wonderful wizard of wool. And so this was the Emerald City set. You can get it on DK or Sockweight when you order. Um, there's also, it's a totally immersive box. So there's so many fun things in there. This is um, a candle that smells delicious. Also, a wool wash, lanolin wool wash bar. Also this little tin. And from Sam's Tiny Trinkets, there's always a matching one that goes with it. I'm gonna send you those two, they're adorable. And then a beautiful bag, hand sewn. So in order to enter this giveaway, what should I have you do? I didn't get that far. Hmm, let's see. I know, in the theme of this video, I want you to tell me one thing that you accomplished this week. It can be in knitting, it can be in life, it can be in work, um, it can be big, it can be small, it doesn't matter. I feel very accomplished from doing this, from spending this, hold on, how long did we take? Hour in 45 minutes. <laughs> that did take a while, didn't it? Um, to get organized, it feels really, really good. And I needed that. I needed a little semblance of control in a very chaotic life that I love, but it still has its difficulties. So comment down below, tell me something that you accomplished this week, big or small, and you will be entered to win this. I'll probably let it run about a week and then I will send this off to the winner. Um, it can be anywhere in the world. Actually, I lied. It has a candle in it and that's kind of heavy. How about anywhere in the world, but if you are international, I might be dropping the candle because it's very heavy, but I still want to send it to you. I feel like that's kind of fair. Okay, that's it for this video. We've rambled on too long. Toaster's back asleep and it's time to get on to the next thing.